A really nice day, but it has been hot and humid. Our temperatures right now in the 80s across the area. Many of us touch 90 degrees, still hanging on to 92 in Baton Rouge, 87 at the airport in Kenner and at the lakefront, 88 in Slidell. So it is very warm, lower 80s at the coast. Factoring in that humidity, here are feels like temperatures. Feels like 103 in Thibodeau, so feeling like the 90s across the area, except for right, across, right along the immediate coastline. So it is hot, and that is the story getting into the next several days. Your Memorial Day weekend is going to be even warmer. Luckily, it has been a bit breezy again today. We're looking at winds coming mostly from the south right now, around 10 to 12 miles per hour. So we could see a little bit of a breeze continuing tonight, and more breezy weather is expected tomorrow through this weekend. Once again, we are looking at a complex of showers and storms, or at least a batch of showers and storms set to develop in East Texas. They are firing up right now just south of Dallas, and those will continue to push eastward through northern Louisiana. More showers and storms up north in the Tennessee Valley through Kentucky right now. But all of this is going to avoid our area again because of that big high pressure we've been tracking the last several days. So just walking you through with precision cast, the showers and storms keep moving eastward throughout the next several hours, and we'll see a bit uh, more cloud cover for us tonight and overnight. But we stay dry tonight through tomorrow. Another batch of storms firing up to our north stays to our north tomorrow is going to be another sunny day, but a hot one. So the rest of your Thursday evening looking good. We'll have partly cloudy skies. Clouds increasing a bit later on with temperatures in the 80s the rest of tonight and we'll be in the 70s early tomorrow morning, both sides of the lake. So here's that high pressure heat dome that's centered over Mexico, bringing them extreme heat. It's going to edge its way a bit more to the northeast. So we're kind of on the northern fringe of that high pressure and that's going to be in control of our weather until early next week. So it keeps us hot. It keeps us dry. We don't have to worry about any rain, but we're starting to see those temperatures really going up, especially from Memorial Day on Monday. And really the only signs of that really changing our pattern at least comes next week. Hopefully we'll see a weak front come into the deep south by the middle of next week. That could bring us some slightly less humid air by next Wednesday, but we'll see if that makes its way all the way here. So that high pressure heat dome, check this out, bringing some triple digit air temperatures to South Texas tomorrow, again Saturday and again Sunday and again Monday. So several days of heat across Mexico and across Texas and really the southern part of the country having to deal with days of heat. We'll probably see our warmest temperature come Monday where we should get to the mid 90s, but every day for us in our area, between now and next Tuesday, we'll be in the lower 90s, maybe some middle 90s later this weekend. And that's only half the story because not only is it hot, it is humid, so our feels like temperatures will probably be around the triple digits the next several days. There's no rain to worry about tomorrow or this entire weekend. Monday, I have about a 10% chance for a stray shower. So Memorial Day Monday is going to be dry, but it's still going to be very hot, of course. Then our rain chances do increase a little bit by the midweek time frame with that weak front coming in. So we could see a few scattered showers and rumbles of thunder Tuesday and Thursday of next week, but largely going to be hit or miss. So earlier in the show, we were talking about the hurricane season outlook from NOAA. They just released it today, calling for a well above average season, 17 to 25 named storms. The two big factors as to why record warm Atlantic Ocean temperatures and a transition to La Nina conditions, which results in low wind shear in the Atlantic Basin, all which can contribute to more storms. But again, kind of take that with a grain of salt because these forecasts don't tell you where the storms will go. They could all develop out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and stay away from us. So we'll be watching that closely, of course. Speaking of which, there is one little area of showers and storms in the Caribbean right now has a low chance for development over the next couple days, only a 10% chance, and it's expected to move northeastward out in the open Atlantic, so we don't have to worry about this. Really, no one has to worry about that, but it's a good reminder, hurricane season just around the corner. Now is the time to kind of get those plans in place and think about what you will do as we head throughout the season. Here's your seven day forecast. It is going to be hot and humid with lots of sunshine, breezy every day and dry for your Memorial Day weekend.